let's um let's talk about it. Um, this Alexander Usyk, he is right now the, in my opinion, the number one cruiserweight in the world. I'm really interested to see um, if he wins against uh, Murata Gassiev on July the 21st over in Moscow. It's going to be on um, ITV box office overseas here in the United States. We still don't have a television deal for the fight for this um season one of the world boxing super series so the remaining two fights left for season one of the world boxing super series tournament for the cruiserweight and the 168 pound division is this fight we're talking about here Usyk versus Gassiev and Groves versus Smith which doesn't have a date yet you know it doesn't have a date or a uh venue yet there's even been some weird rumors circulating around that George Groves was in talks to fight um, James DeGale, which would completely destroy the World Boxing Super Series in regards to uh, credibility. But I'm sure that they had some type of contracts in place to make sure that this tournament um, goes through. And so far, season two with the 118 pound and 140 pound um, uh, division is looking pretty good. So in the United States, if you get the, um, the um, perform group Eddie Hearn streaming service, the zone is spelled D A Z N, like some 90s type, you know. You'll be able to get the World Boxing Super Series entire season two, whatever type of exclusive content that they have, and it's going to be a lot of it. Also, you'll get Bellator and um, 32 cards from Eddie Hearn. It's supposed to be 16 here in the States and 16 overseas. Me, obviously, because it's my job, I'm going to be buying it, so it's not even, you know, it's. Is it's happening and right now I like the concept so in in the case of Usyk versus Garcia right now it's July the 5th 2018 1037 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and we still don't have a US television deal for Usyk versus Garcia now what they were doing for season one were here in the United States since there was no television deal we were getting to watch the fights on the World Boxing Super Series website or the world boxing super series youtube page yeah there were some hiccups but in this case i'm hoping since it's just the last two of these fights that the 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 new streaming service over here in the u.s which costs five dollars a month what no actually it's about six dollars a month uh espn plus uh picks up these two fights since it's the last round because i don't want to have to go through hell to be able to watch these fights or some laggy you know stream um um, for this fight and it's supposed to be you on uh, July the 21st but anyway in the four belt era here you're going to have the first cruiserweight champion the winner will be the IBF WBO um, WBC and um, WBA cruiserweight champion Miris Breedis who lost to um, I'm confusing myself Miris Breedis is going to be on the undercard so right now so I don't confuse myself let's go look at the um, cruiserweight division real quick with the cruiserweight division so this tournament has actually been very good for the cruiserweight division because it has been keeping these fighters active and also it was able to create a fight that has two of the top the the, the top two in my opinion cruiserweights going against each other in a tournament for a lot of money a, a muhammad ali trophy that's made of like you know like thousands and thousands of dollars worth of gold and four belts you know, so Alexander Usyk is the clear favorite. You know, um, Murat Gassiev is a very good defensive fighter. Alexander Usyk is more known to beat his fighters um, into submission, kind of like um, uh, Vasil Lomachenko. By the way, they're both um, good friends and both from the UK. I mean, from the Ukraine. My bad, my bad, my bad. Let's go over here. Look over here real quick. Let's see. Full screen share. Is it this one? 14 and 0 with 11 KOs. I think I've seen all of his fights. I'm pretty sure because they're they're on YouTube and Daily Motion. I've seen all of his fights. He's known um, as an activity puncher. He can turn it up whenever he wants to. Sometimes it seems as though he can get to get his opponents out of there earlier than he usually does. Last fight beat uh, Miris Breedis, Marco Hook, uh, Michael Hunter. This was on um, HBO. T the uh, Tabasso. Uh, Machuno fight was also on HBO. Uh, Christoph Glowoski. This is a pretty impressive as resume 
for just this amount of fights. It's going to be really interesting to see where he goes from here because if he does stay at if, if he does stay at cruiserweight, if he wins, you know, I'm pretty sure that he'll probably fight Miris Breedis. You know, that's usually how they do it when they put somebody, you know, on the um, undercard. Marat Gassiev trained by um, Abel Sanchez, who also trains Golovkin. He has sparred with Golovkin. Unier Dortikos. Christoph uh, Waterscock. Dennis Lieberdev. Well, he should have had both of the belts for this. I don't, you know, this is Dennis Lieberdev. Not as an impressive resume, but he is a very, very good fighter. And, um and um should be respected but going back to the uh cruiserweight division here's all the top guys right here as you can see you know alexander usik and uh, gassiev hold you know two belts apiece um usik wbc and wbo gassiev wba and um ibf next i've seen him fight somewhere i'm not quite sure um, and if you look, it's not really, really, really any really, really powerful names out there that are coming up. I mean, yeah, you got uh, Andrew Tabidi, but he's got to stay more active. Gowalski is still building his name back up after um, after uh, defeat, defeat. Remember, he fought uh, Tony Bellew. And it's just not really much out there. You know, it's going to be real interesting if Alexander Usyk wins, if he decides to move up the heavyweight or if Marat Gassiev decides to move up. But I think I think Usyk has a better chance to move up the heavyweight and do well at heavyweight than Gassiev. That's just my own personal opinion. But anyway, that was just a little update. Um, I'm waiting on an announcement any day now, hopefully, that we'll get in regards to, you know, some type of television deal for these fights. But when we do, I'll be sure to put it on my social media. I'm T-Street Controversy. This is T-Street Controversy Live. Please subscribe.